My first guess was... <laughs> Here's, a, here's really a fine actor, uh, Jeremy Iron. He's starring in Kafka. He flew in from England to be a presenter at tomorrow night's Golden Globes. And uh, you know him as the English star of Dead Ringers, The French Lieutenant's Women, and, of course, the Oscar for Reversal of Fortune. Would you welcome, please, Jeremy Irons. <laughs> Good to meet you. Uh, yeah, you, uh, I, I admire your work very, very much, and I know you've been on some kind of ridiculous schedule. I walked into your dressing room and I says, quick, what day it was, and you, for a moment, like you didn't know. What kind of a schedule? What happened today? Uh, today I got up, um, I don't know how many hours ago, because I, <laughs> I, I've altered this twice already today, this watch. Uh, I, I think it's something like now four o'clock in my morning. Right. And I was up at 6 o'clock in my morning yesterday. So you came out to England, then you went to New York? Then I went to New York for a meeting, and then I came on here. So it's been a good day of sitting in aeroplanes. Yeah. Does it bother you at all? Some people can handle that, but... Uh... I, I think it's all right. It, it's, it, it, it's three days' time, you know, call me late. Yeah. Not too early. Can I ask you a question? You can be perfectly honest, because, you know, we have talent coordinators to talk with before the show, and we kind of get an idea of what we're going to talk about. Is doing a show like this when you're under a schedule and you got a picture out uh, a pain in the ass for you? Oh. You know, I'm serious. Honestly? Sure. Well, Johnny. Did I ask for something the wrong way here? Uh, huh? No, it's great. It's great. We, we um, even in England, we see your show. And uh, hmm. it's wonderful for me. I've been on here with Jay. I know you have. Uh, and I, I missed you. Well done. Uh, Jay is wonderful, but to be here, it, it's it's... I'm slightly nervous of, of chat shows because I always think that actors, what they do is on the screen, and that's right. what they're good at. Um, and I like a little bit of mystery, a little bit of mystique, right. and you get them on here and you think, my God, they're so boring. Yeah, and all of a sudden I'm going to explore and I'm going to be naked and people are going to find a reason. Yeah, but... Yeah, but you but should keep a little mystery, right? Little it's good to be here, here, put yeah. it like that. Well, I'm glad um, you're here. But, but just, you know, careful with the question. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Uh, oh, now you're really sending me off. You're going you're gonna to be a presenter t tomorrow at the Golden Globe Awards. Now, do they, they have an award show in England uh, similar to our Academy Awards? Do they not? Or they do have award shows, yeah. um, but they don't do them very well. They're sort of a little bit more low-key. And if you're not going to do a, an award show really well, they're pretty tedious. Yeah. I, think, I thought last year the Academy Award show was wonderful. I thought the Tony Award show in yeah. New York which I was involved in was actually wonderful. I looked at it, and, and me aside, I just thought it was a great show. They have a lot of stuff to draw from. They got all the stuff that's going on in Broadway. Sure. And you always talent in this country. Yeah. Did you always want to be, and do you, do you enjoy acting? I know actors now who've told me privately, they really don't enjoy it. They, they, the rewards are, are good financially and the recognition, mm. but they looked at it more of as a chore than they did something that was joyous for them to do. I like it now and again. Right. When, 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 it's a bit like sailing. Are you a sailor? Well, no, I'm a stink potter. The stink pot, well, yeah. That's what they call power boat people. Well, for, for a sailor, I, I don't stink pot, but, but it's, it's... When the wind's right and the sail's right and you're creaming, it's wonderful sailing. And acting is a bit like that. When you get it right, you do a scene and you think it's... That, that's a wonderful moment. And, but, but I think the thing I like about it most is working with a group of people on a particular project, be it a play or a film. Right. And they're all talented, hopefully, and they're all doing their job well in the same direction. And that's, that, that, there's a sort of sound that happens when yeah. that happens, and that's the best. No, that's well put, because uh, standing out doing a monologue every night, I know what you're saying. Yeah. When it gets into a groove and everything is working, that's right. you say, boy, this is great. Yeah. Then you have those moments where things aren't working, you say, maybe I'm in the wrong business. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you ever want to do anything else? I wanted to be a veterinarian when I was, when I was a kid, when I was growing up. I wanted to be an engine driver first. Right. Um, railway trains, and then I wanted to be a veterinarian, and I showed no talent at all for the sciences. So I left school having no idea what I wanted to do. Right. And, but I knew what I didn't want to do. I went to, a very, I went to what we call a public school in right. England, which is a boarding school, and it was very strict and very structured society. And careers were, were, were suggested to one, and I thought, I don't want, none of that do I want to do. I don't want to go into the army. I don't want to be a bank manager. It's all hor horrendous. I thought, I want to play round it all. Right. Um, I want to do, so I want to, in a way, be a gypsy. I want to be able to get round the edge of the bits of society I don't like. And I think that's what attracted me to this business. Right. And indeed, it's given me that. I mean, I've met wonderful people in all fields 
who I would never have met if I was in a, some other specific career. Right. Um, and I'd been able to, to bob into bits of society that I like, bits of the sort of social structure, and keep well clear of the areas that I don't like. So yeah. Are you a good business person? Most actors will admit right off they have, they're fine when they're working, but the other, the other no. fringe things they don't particularly care for. I have people... I, 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 my father was a, was, was a CPA, Chartered Accountant, so he was clever with sums. I have no interest, really. I mean, I'm, I'm, I like to have enough to get by on. <laughs> But as far as investing and all that sort of thing, no, I'm, I'm hopeless. Yeah. Now, what, what, what are you presenting tomorrow night? Do you know what, what, what category? Uh, it's Best Actress. Yeah. Um, this is, when you win an Academy Award like you did last year, does it jump your salary? I mean, is all of a sudden you say, hey, Academy Award winner, therefore, mm. this well, goes with it? But in theory, I did have one producer who called me before the awards, and he said, I want you to do this picture, and if you do it, I'll pay you X. And if you... Uh, if you, if you uh, say yes I'll pay you X if you win the award uh -huh. I'll pay you X times two when in fact it was not a picture I wanted to do so I never discover whether it would have doubled my salary in effect I tend to do movies that I'm interested in and they have a specific budget um, and they can afford to pay me what they can afford I I I, I try not to do things for the money really I don't get very happy doing that I like to, if I want to do a picture I'll do it and they'll pay me what they can afford to pay me and I'll yeah. try and live on that it's a nice attitude to have. We have right. a little clip uh, from... Uh, is this a kind of a detective thing, Kafka? Yeah, it's a, it's a pastiche. It's not Franz Kafka, is it? No, no, no. no, no. It's, it's, it's Joe Kafka or yeah. something. It's, a, <laughs> it's a, pa a pastiche about Kafka, about set in Prague during his lifetime. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful film, I think. Right. Okay, I don't, I don't know what the scene is here, but uh, here, here's a little excerpt from Kafka. Don't open that. Why not? Why not? Open and closing the latches. That's what activates it. Did you say that Edward was murdered on his way to the castle carrying the bomb? I mean, this is the bomb. How many bombs are there? It's still easier for you to believe it was suicide, isn't it? Less what? trouble for the police. Less disturbing for you. It's not disturbing. I Go ahead, no. open it. Don't think they haven't been watching. To them, we're all connected. The group, Edward, me, and you. Gabriella. If I waited for you to understand, it would be too late. Black and white, interesting. Yes, it's still a I like the idea. Black and white. This is interesting. A lot of you probably watching said, gee, they forgot the color knob or mm. something. Black and white, interesting. Yeah, it's, 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 I mean, Soderbergh, who, who loves film and is very well educated in film, he, he wanted a sort of German expressionistic sort of third man feel to right. it. Prague, for those of you who've been lucky enough to go there, is a city that demands black and white, right. really. It's, it's, it's got that feel. Um, we go into color at the end of the film. Right once we get inside the castle and then go back again to black and white. It gives it a marvelous quality because I remember when Olivier did Hamlet, if you'd seen that in color, it would have been horrendous mm. because it, the whole feeling uh, right. and, and, and the lighting, and, and that's what all the controversy, of course, is about the colorization of the classics now where they take somebody's work where they have worked long hours to get the mm. right kind of shading and all of a sudden you're looking at some strange buddy uh, with, with red, blue eyes when they have brown eyes. I think it takes away from the picture. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I mean, in, in still photography, we accept black and white as a particular art form exactly. in still photography. But in movies, we, it still makes people think it's old-fashioned or, or they're, they're not getting the money's worth of their license yeah. or something. Not so. We have to take a break. We're coming right back. No, I like it.